Hello, welcome to day one. Hope you had a great weekend. So let's go ahead and get started here. So in our notebooks, I'm going to go ahead and open it up to page one, and I'm going to write the word exponents because that's the title for today, and that's our focus is exponents. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you some vocabulary you should be listening for and learning as we go. There are five vocabulary words. The first is power, exponent, base, expanded form, and simplified form. Some of you may have heard these words used before in other mathematical terms, so you might have a little bit of a head start compared to the rest of us, all right? So again, those five words we're gonna listen for through the lesson, all right? So let's go ahead and start with this first problem. Many of you have probably seen a problem like this where it's been 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Seems kind of redundant to write that 2 that many times, all right? So wouldn't it be nice if I had a quicker, shorter way to write that 2? Well, I do. I can write that in, in a shorter form referred to as simplified form, all right? Simplified form is going to use the vocabulary of base, exponent, and power. So what I do is I look at what numbers or number or numbers are being multiplied. In this case, it's 2. 2 is the number and numbers being multiplied. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 2. 2 is going to be my base because that's the number that's being multiplied. And I know it's the base because it's touching this line down here. So because 2 is the number being multiplied, that's why 2 is my base. The next thing I look at is I look for the how many what power of 2. I figure that out by counting how many twos are being multiplied. One, two, three, four, five. There are five twos being multiplied. So I'm gonna write this two as the fifth power, and I write that five up there to the right. Notice that the five is not down here touching the line, it is up here and to the right of that number. This indicates that if this two is to the fifth power, the two is being multiplied five times. So this five is referred to as my exponent. Okay. The exponent just lets us know how many times we're going to multiply that base number. Okay. If I were to solve and evaluate this one, 2 to the 5th power, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, I know would also evaluate and give me an answer of 32. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and look at an algebra one. All right. We're going to have 3 times 3 times a times a times a times a. I immediately notice a difference from this one and this one. Number one, there's a letter in here. Number two, there seems to be two things being multiplied down here. All right? But we're going to use our base knowledge of what we know about base and exponents. We're going to look at what's being multiplied. In this case, there's a 3 being multiplied. So I'm going to go ahead and write a 3. But not only is there a 3 being multiplied, there's an A. So I'm also going to write an A over here. Notice how the 3 and the A are not next to each other. Next, I'm going to try to write the, I'm going to try to figure out what exponent goes with 3. I do that by counting out how many 3s are being multiplied. In this case, there are 1, 2 3s being multiplied, so I'm going to go ahead and write 3 to the second power. I'm going to multiply between these two bases because there's all multiplication going on here. Next, I'm going to count how many A's there are because A is my other base. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 A's. So because there are four a's, I'm going to write a to the fourth power. Please note, this is the simplified form, 3 to the second times a to the fourth. Could you simplify it even further? Yes, we could do 3 to the second power. 3 to the second power is equal to 9. So then I would have 9 times a to the fourth. And we'll get really good where we can start writing this 9 times a to the fourth is really 9a to the fourth, like that. But we'll get into that as we go throughout the year diving into our algebra. Let's look at one last example, basic example. Let's look at a negative number because they can confuse me sometimes. I'm going to do negative 7 times negative 7 times negative 7. Right. Notice that I put the negative 7s in parentheses. Okay. The negative 7 is what's being multiplied, so that's going to be my base. So I'm going to write negative 7. And I'm going to put that negative 7 in parentheses because that's a negative and I want to make sure that that negative sign stays attached with the 7. Next, I'm going to go ahead and count how many negative 7s there are. There are 1, 2, 3. 
So I'm going to go ahead and write that to the third power. Again, notice how I wrote that three. It's not right next to the seven in this case. I'm right, it's right outside the parentheses. Okay, so it's right out there. So I really have negative seven to the third power. If you use your calculator and you multiply it correctly, you should get an answer of negative 343. So let's go the opposite way. So in this one, we went from expanded form to simplified form. So let's show examples of how to go from um, simplified form to expanded form. All right. So our first one here is going to be here. It's going to be 4 to the third power. When I go backwards, I look at the base. The base in this case in this problem is 4. So I'm going to go ahead and write a 4. The exponent will tell me how many times I'm going to write a 4 or being multiplied. In this case, it's being multiplied 3 times. So I'm going to write 4 times 4 times 4. Please note that 4 times 4 times 4 does evaluate and give me an answer of 64. Let's go ahead and look at an algebra one. X to the fifth times Y to the third. So again, I look at what is the first base that I encounter, which is an X. How many times does it tell me to write X? It tells me to write it five times. So I'm going to write X times X times X times X times X. Then I look at here and I notice that between X and Y, it's being multiplied. multiplied. So I'm going to write another multiplication symbol right there. If this said addition, then I would have to add between x and y. My next base is this y right here, so I'm going to write a y. How many times does it tell me to write y? Well, it tells me to write it three times. So I'm going to write y times y times y. Notice, I cannot evaluate this one because I do not have the values for x and y. If I was given the values for x and y, I could evaluate them. All right, why don't you go ahead and try these problems for me. There are five problems. The first three I want you to go ahead and write in simplified form. All right, so write these three problems in simplified form. Negative 11 times negative 11, oh, and I'm going to put those in parentheses, times negative 11 times negative 11. And I just want you to write those in simplified form. You do not have to evaluate these. Number two, I want you to do two times two times two times two times six times six times six. The last one I want you to do in simplified form, it's going to be a little tricky, but just think about it. F times G times F times G times F times G times F times G times F. So you have those three problems I want you to do in simplified form. These three problems I just want you to evaluate, okay? Evaluate, and remember, just solve. Give me an answer. So on this one, I want you to do 2 to the 6th. I want you to find out what 2 to the 6th is equal to. Sorry, I'll slide my notebook up. And then on this one, on number 5, I want you to go ahead and do 1 7th to the 3rd power, okay? Why don't you go ahead and evaluate those Helpful reminder, one-seventh, when you're multiplying fractions, you take numerators times numerator, denominators times denominator. All right? Good luck.